What's going on? We're here for an epic home gym, garage gym tour right here at Perfect Little Sweeties with the man himself, the beast from the southeast, Big Bryce. So Welcome. Perfect Little Sweeties, first of all, before we even get started, why is it Perfect Little Sweeties? Um, well, I started buying gym stuff, started a home gym, I'm like, it needs a name. Yeah. And I was kind of sick of all like the badass home gym, yeah. basement, <laughs> beast gym, yeah. animal gym. I was like, I want it to be funny. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, Perfect Little Sweeties. And I'm like, I can call my friends Perfect Little Sweeties. Like, if you're here, you're a Perfect Little Sweetie. So, yeah. yeah. I'm very Perfect Little Sweetie. So, we can both be, Tommy and I can both be like Perfect Little Sweeties of the month. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, you the, can. The, the, uh, that is an official award you give out, I think, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right? sometimes. Uh, Tommy's gotten a train here a few times Several with you. Times. We're here in, and I guess for, I didn't say we're here in Crew Falls, Sioux Falls, where Tommy lives. Uh, you've got to be here. This is my first time, and there is a lot to take in, and that's what we're going to do is show you all of it today. I guess we're in a, uh, two stall garage, you know, there's one big garage door. It's like a two stall garage and the whole mm -hmm. thing's a gym pretty much Yeah, yeah. except I can I can move a few things and my girlfriend can still park in here. So okay. okay. That's important. Yeah <laughs> She can That's... still park in here. <laughs> uh, so how long have you had the gym now? Um, I've had the gym in some form since end of 2021. Okay. I had racks, rack and plates pretty much. Okay. You've got a lot of cool equipment, some vintage equipment, a lot of cool used stuff. And I don't know where we start, but I guess we'll just start and go around the room. Yeah. You all, I'm going to ask you about stuff and you point out anything that I miss, uh, that you want to talk about. First thing I see, you've got kind of an old school prowler. Do you push the prowler out here very much? Or? <laughs> no, not yeah. very much. It's, it's a good piece of equipment though. It is. And I like, I'm, I'm going to do a strongman thing with Paul in a couple yeah. of weeks here and there's a truck pull so I thought about kind of using it to train the truck pull a little bit okay um it's one of those things I haven't busted out yet I got it in a weight pickup on marketplace so they, it was like 140 bucks for a bunch of weights and then they threw in the prowler and I yeah and we'll see money. as we go around you're you are kind of a Facebook marketplace uh you you, <laughs> you we were just talking about it he's he scrounges a lot of deals and we send stuff back and forth on good uh, marketplace deals in the upper Midwest here. Right. Um, what is this? It's like a, it's like a rack mounted reverse hyper oh, my dad wow. and I built. Yeah. Um, so you just uh, set, put the safe, put it over the safeties on the, mm -hmm. in the rack. Yeah. What was the pad off of? It's like um, gator skin. <laughs> we, we made it. It's like Walmart. We okay. got like some some material at Walmart yeah. and padded it with gator skin. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, do you use it very often? Not anymore because I do. Have oh, you have an actual. Yeah, yeah, you have the I got full size drink spotter. Yeah. I got sick of, full size. Yeah, I got sick of rack putting this in the rack. Yeah, it is very heavy. Yeah, and then when I wanted to use it, it was usually after I squatted. So, um, found a better deal. <laughs> uh, right. Right. Yep. I don't know what this is either. Uh, um, is it like a giant trap bar? A giant what? trap bar, but yeah. The, the handles are, uh, oh, it does have yeah, handles this is, on the inside. Yeah, this is a and then a, there's a tiny trap bar also. Is that what that is? What is that? Um, it was a Titan thing. It was like 40 bucks. It's supposed to be like a tricep bar. I was gonna, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, you definitely can't fit inside this as a trap no, bar. No, it's supposed to be a tricep bar, but I hate it. So okay. I just, I'm, I'm probably end up giving it away or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It does look like a tiny miniature trap bar though. <laughs> yeah, baby trap bar. Yeah. But this is an enormous trap bar. Yeah, I bought it from a strong man out of Southwest Minnesota. He built it himself. It's he said it's about a hundred pounds. I've never weighed it. It okay. is heavy. Okay. Do you use that? I mean, that takes up some real estate a, when you get little, that thing out. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's kind of one of those things. Like I haven't used it for a while, but that's kind of this wall right here is like yeah. the out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to miss anything because there is so so much. Yeah. What's the, what's this? Is this a rack? That's yeah, not so, assembled or what? so I bought this rack. And yep. It's actually like two half racks with weight storage in the middle. Right. But the the, the ceiling is like two. There's not enough space between the beams for the for yeah. the two sided half rack. I've had other setups where where it was both sides, like in my other garages right. I've had in the past. Yeah, it'd be like off the back side of that rack. Yeah. That built now. So it's just like one of those things. I don't want to get rid of it because right. If I do. You'd take up a lot of room in this gym if you had it all assembled mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. too. Uh, that's a big-ass Cerberus sandbag. Is this filled with sand or pea gravel? Sand. Sand, of course. <laughs> they don't call it a pea gravel bag, do they? How much is that weigh? Uh, it was supposed to be 309, but yeah. I weighed it. It was like 335. I was going to say, that's a full one, too. So I'm like, that's definitely over 300 pounds. Yeah. Have, you, have you done much with that? Um, I've done some, like, over bar with it okay, a couple yeah. times. That's a heavy-ass heavy, heavy, heavy yeah. sandbag. Okay. Then we're over to... Well... Part of your gym is straight up the decor. Like, oh, yeah. Like 50% of what makes Perfect Little Sweeties cool, in my opinion, <laughs> is 
the stuff on the walls. Oh, and I like sure. a good gym with good stuff on the walls. <laughs> so we've got a, a kind of like a, a shelf area here where you have the dogs playing poker plates. Some of the rarest plates in this gym, yeah. for sure. Vintage uh, plates. <laughs> you've got... Uh, a Jurassic World. It's Jimmy Buffett with okay. two margaritas. <laughs> like it's a, a, a Jurassic figure. World. And that's a signed fit bottle of Fifty Cent's vodka, signed oh. by Fifty Cent. Was he in Crew Falls? He was in Crew Falls. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. friend and I waited for three hours to meet him, and then we got a signed bottle of Fifty Cent vodka or cognac. Uh, okay. <laughs> this would be your college football helmet, I'm sure, there for the Augie Vikings um, or somebody's. Somebody else's. Yeah. Like somebody I knew had a rental house and somebody left that in there, so I just, they gave it to me. Okay. And I was like, okay. Uh, what's the York Roundhead up there? It's just a 15. Okay, I, yeah. Another thing, like in a weight pickup, that was just a, sing just a just single, just a single 15, yeah. What's the tiny little little weights? Um, finger weightlifting thing my sister got me. It's like a little tiny kettlebell. <laughs> you know, just get your get your hands strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got uh, bench blocks, lifting shoes, flats, Lift Hard Live Easy hat from uh, the first Lift Hard Live Easy classic. And then what uh, those things you put on like to bench, they're almost like bench blocks or whatever too, mm -hmm. Lady FTS type things. Um, dumbbell corner here. Yeah. You've got a lot of dumbbells. Especially, you know, for a, for a <clears> home <throat> gym, you've got a pretty, pretty significant dumbbell set up here. You've got hex ones up to 65 and yep. what are all the big boys? Yeah, I got some 85s, some 75s, 100s. And then I got um, 115s, 130s, 140s. Yeah. And a, and a lone 120. I'm still looking for a pair for to that. To match up the 120. Um, yeah, you're not missing much for dumbbells then, are you? Mm -mm, no. Let's get, uh, the Macho Man is there. Yeah. Is that your jersey? That's one of my jerseys, yeah. Yep. 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 Then you've got barbell storage over here yep. and several bars. Uh, here's a power bar. What's this one? Um, it's a uh, Ohio power bar. I think yep. it's a Boneyard one. Okay. Got good knurling on that. Yeah. Yep. Um, these two bars are interesting. What are these two right here? This is a Titan fat curl bar. Okay. It was a Black Friday deal. And I love Donnie Thompson. He's all about the fat bars. Yeah. So I was like, there's got to be something to this. So, um, what about this fat and bar? And then this was like a York fat Olympic okay. bar. I think it's two inch diameter. I was just benching with that for a while. Like the knurling's like, almost non-existent. Not, yeah, it's not really that it great. It also, in a spot here, it doesn't really feel round. No. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Right, right. It feels like an oval or like egg shaped almost. A little bit. Yeah, like you squeezed it too hard and now yeah. it's, you bent to the metal. I wish I had that problem. <laughs> uh, this... Camber bar is cool too. Right, yeah. I, it might be homemade or something. Um, it says or, French something uh, customs on okay. the top. I, I put it in that Vintage Weights uh, Facebook page, and someone thinks that this is like the one that Mike McDonald, the yeah, guy in the 70s, the that was big on yeah. this. they think this is like the one he was like actually selling. Okay. Because it says something about Duluth, and I think he was Yeah, from yeah I was going to say he was area. from Minnesota or mm -hmm. something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the band belt. Is this. The regular? Oh, yeah, this is the regular one. It yep. just looks like maybe a little bit newer than ours or something like that. Yep. Uh, you've got a... a Cam rackable camera yeah. bar. Yeah, what Cambridge. brand is that? It's Titan. Yeah. Yeah. My parents were like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, oh, this. So <laughs> they got is, me that. Is this a Titan multi-grip bar? Or uh, brand? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think like going with Titan on like your weird specialty well, bars because like, like how often do you much. and and how often yeah. are you using these e anyways you know like i mean i know you use them you kind of train conjugate a little right, bit right so you're bit, using all different bars but uh you're not but, using them that much right and you're not really able to load them that heavy so it's like yeah uh, i agree with that and the axle right there yeah, titan axle sweet and then uh, the curl bar everyone gets when they have a gym. Yeah, it just it comes just come standard. I think you said that in another yeah. video. It's like the standard issue curl bar. It does come standard. Uh, you've got a rep adjustable bench right here. Yep. Did you buy that new or used? I bought this one new, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not sure which one it is at this yeah. point anymore. I've had it for two yeah. or three years. I like it a lot. You, so you use that if you're going to do incline? I do, stuff, yeah. Stuff. Yep. Yep. Do you fit on it? Yeah, I do. How tall are you? Um, like six six. Yeah, yeah. Did you make weight for the last power lift of me? Oh, I'm I just barely. Yeah, my hair. That's kind of a running joke we got. <laughs> Did you make weight? I barely. Oh, I was so. I can finally my, relax. I've I been so pee. worried. I had to pee. I held all of his underwear while he was weighing in. So. Um, GHR. GHR. What brand is this? I don't know. It, it's a friend of mine. He has it. Uh, we. He was my roommate. He kind of like. He doesn't have a place where he can have a gym yep. right now. So it just kind of lives here, along okay. with that bench. Like, there's a couple things here that are just 
those are two main things that are just my friends that yep. like he doesn't have a place for them right now so yep um and speaking of that bench you've got the rep flat bench that's a good that's a good bench yep. i don't know what that i don't know tommy do you know the model of that rep uh, one i can't keep all the numbers yeah but yeah. it's a good that's it's a, good a good solid bench, bench. Yeah, yeah solid and then the actual rack here this is probably where you spend as much of your time as anywhere in the gym is actually the rack pretty uh, much um what kind of rack i mean it's elite got FTS, a, okay some, it's very custom i don't know if it's like stickers a, yeah it's very custom and the numbers that were written on here already <laughs> okay yeah yeah um I got it for like 800 bucks, like both sides of it I, in some gym in like Hull, Iowa. I drove, yep. I drove to get it and um, I like it a lot. It's, it's pretty heavy duty. Yep. And it's, uh, this must be one inch. I think so. Yeah. yeah. One, inch, uh, one inch hardware on right. it. And then plate wise, well, here's some Masonomics, uh, some of the custom Masonomics collars that you've got there. For sure. Uh, what, it, uh, I forget what this is called. TRX. Yeah, TR right. yeah, like yeah. the TRX bands I, or whatever. Not a thing I use a whole lot. They're, like I said, those are my buddies that... Yep. Yeah. You've got the standard barbell 45s. Did you buy all these used from somewhere at one point um, in time? I, well, it was when I first was starting off and I didn't like really know what I was doing. <laughs> yep. Well, not that I know what I'm doing now, but... Uh, <laughs> these I aren't bought, bad looking. Like as far as like standard plates go... These ones are pretty nice looking. Like I like right. the color of these ones. I bought them on like, Rogue when I, okay. was, when I was bringing Oh, yeah. And they were... They I mean like they were pretty decent price at that time, and then they went up some more since then. But yeah, and then you got a few other ones. And then just there. usually like the gray ones, are, I would say, are Facebook Marketplace or just like yeah, I don't even know. You've got them. like just if you wanted to use straight up forty fives, you honestly just have just the the bare number that you need for the numbers that you lift. I mean, luckily you have hundreds <laughs> yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, and speaking of the hundreds. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down here on the bottom, he has uh, the infamous double-sided 100-pound York plates. And I believe, I don't know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but you were saying anyone that comes here to do a gym tour gets to take one pair back oh, with them. yeah, you know what? I did say that, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> we have been talking about these York double-sided hundreds for quite a few years now, how uh, you, you've been rubbing them, rubbing them in my face for quite a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> yeah, well, I have. I can verify, too. Those are not fake. That really feels like it weighs 100 pounds. Those are heavy. <laughs> those are so heavy. Yeah. Uh, we do, I do have one pair of those now, but it doesn't almost seem right that you have three pairs and I only have one. If you gave me one pair, it would be even. Kind of yeah. even it out <laughs> a little right. bit. Even. Yeah. Uh, Rogue Power Bar. Yep. This is the first Rogue. bar I bought. I love it. It's probably my favorite. Yep. This three is a good years. one. 45 pound. We have, the, we have the same one. Black Sear Coat. Uh, mm -hmm. Rogue Ohio Power Bar. It's a good one. Right. Can't go wrong. Yep. What do you uh, leave these dumbbells right here? Were you using uh, some them? Some of the hook bands up to the 75s. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I usually just keep, I don't know. It's kind of messy, but I keep them there. Yeah. Is there any significance of the particular NFL teams that are represented yeah, here? Yeah, these are yeah. all like different friends of mine that yeah. have like trained here. Yeah, that's like, what I thought maybe. Like this, starting over here, this is the Birmingham Iron. It was an AAF team. It folded, but my friend Sam, I played football with him in college. He's a strength coach at Mankato now. He um, he played for them. Um, is this is this ex UFL, I guess now. Okay. My buddy Jake played center for them this season. Uh, Cole Keefe, he's trained here. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As heard on the Mass Sonic podcast. <laughs> As heard. Um, my friend Kevin from college, he's trained here a couple times. He is a strength um, coach in some capacity with the Ravens. And then. Um, Blake Larson, offensive tackle out of uh, Augie, played with him for a little bit. He's he's coming like he's been around the gym a couple times. He uh, is a on the practice squad with them right now. And then my friend Jake, the guy actually my old roommate, he's the same guy from the Renegades and okay. this team. So these yeah. are the three teams, the he, New Jersey Generals, yeah, the SFL. Yep. Yeah. So he was he was uh, he got cut right before right before the season in okay. 2020, I think, with the Vikings, so, yeah. I, I like, uh, we were really talking, some of the old school WWF stickers up here. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Trish Stratus. Stratus. Yeah. We, we got The Rock, I think there was uh, Jericho down here. Here's oh, a yeah. Stone Cold what? There's what? like a there's like a Lex Luger on one of these like yeah. over there when you're laying down to oh. bench, you'll like look at a dude looking at you like this. Dan Bella's numero uno <laughs> sticker, that's good. There's, you've got the Massonomics current year calendar, oh, yeah. of course. Uh, and then you got an attachment wall back here. I'm kind yeah. of standing in the way of it, but uh, 
Let me see. Any you've got. These are some big ass like Meg Grip uh, style yeah. attachments. Yeah, they're the Walmart ones yep. that you got for like. But they're just a, they're the same thing. They're solid, yeah. yeah. And I don't think that company's in business anymore. Any the original one, no. so you you can't buy the Meg Grip brand anyways. Mm -mm. Is this rotate? No, okay, no, that one doesn't. Solid. I um picked up a bunch of handles on Marketplace for like hundred bucks, and there's yep. a bunch. There's some other gym equipment. Oh, in you've it, got you know, a bucket of them. A bucket, still yeah. Here. So I have like a bunch of extra like. V handles. You've got the P, the Grip Genie PP and the accompanying Peach, of course. Yep. No gym complete without them. Yep. Uh, decor on the wall here. I got to point out a few things of note on this one. <laughs> the Taco Johns. Uh, is that a stadium seat pad? Is it that is. what that is? Taco For Johns. Ta someone with a small ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone that doesn't eat that much Taco Johns. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that one says Taco Johns on the other side too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Taco Johns was sponsoring the <laughs> seat pads for the Augustana Vikings at one point in time. It's good sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, $2 bill. This came from uh, Massonomics supporting uh, member mail out that we did uh, like a year or two ago, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got your Silliest Goose Award from the 2023 Massonomics Lift Hard Live Easy Classic. Uh, what Lots else do Lots of medals. Yeah, oh. yeah, some medals from powerlifting meets. Um, autographed picture of my friend's dad. <laughs> he he uh, <laughs> briefly had like a deal with Chunky Soup when he was That's in NFL awesome. with like yeah. the Panthers. Yeah, he said they paid him like ten grand to sit at a desk, or, like at a table at a grocery store and sign these. <laughs> but he had one left over and he gave it to me. And then this, my friend Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Samson uh, plates, but that looks like a cool plate. Yeah, that it was Samson two and a half uh, kilogram plate. It's the only one of those I have, and, and it says five and a half pounds on it. Even that's funny. It's such a weird. Yeah, I just put it up. I guess. Yeah. Uh, then we're leaning, as one does. We're over here <laughs> leaning on the reverse hyper. Of course, you've got uh, what brand of reverse hyper is it? Though? Um, I think it was it a dynamic fitness. Okay. I think yeah, dynamic. Fitness. Looks like a reverse hyper to me. Yeah, it does. You sure got does. another set of hundreds on here. Yep. Do those ever come off? No, pretty much not. Yeah. Yeah. What? I have anything to say about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are those rusty twenty fives there? What um, brand? Any idea? Uh, these I think are just no, just whatever. Know. They yeah. say USA on them. These They're are kind of like, like inter international. Yeah. Um. It was with those all those pull down attachments. They were like, okay. "Do you want these too?" And I was like, like, "Hell yeah!" I guess. Yeah. But they did. Th they threw in these, and these are the cool part. Uh, oh yeah, these are old uh, York kilos. Ten yeah, kilos. ten kilo. They're not mm. twenty five pound plates. They're ten pound ten, ten kilo. kilo plates. Yeah. So I got three of those. Those are cool. They're very cool. Those are probably you know people want those. I would assume too. They're somewhat rare. I would yeah. guess so. That's cool. You got the TV. Do you put something on when you're training usually? Or? Sometimes. It's usually just I play Spotify on there. Yeah. Like, it looks literally identical <laughs> identical to the Massonomics gym <laughs> television. Right. <laughs> There's another Dan Bell as numero uno right there. Love it. Yeah, uh, sometimes if I'm out here like move, rearranging the gym, which I am known to do, uh, oh. I'll just turn on a show or something. And Coop from the Strength Co. <laughs> puffy Coat. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Tripod. For filming your sets, of course, because mm. if you don't film it, it doesn't count. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. What? Where did you get this from? Um, my mom was like picking up some books from some old teacher for like a teacher friend of hers, and my dad saw him in the corner of the garage, and he's like, "Would you take a hundred bucks for these?" And the lady's like, "Sure." <laughs> so, it's, so you only paid a hundred bucks for this? Yeah, and it's like do fives. They, I was gonna say, do they have weight? Oh, it's written on the handle. Fifteen. Or wait, sorry, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and a And then a single 50. 50. Yeah. Those are really cool. Did it have this little rack that they yeah, were on Yeah, it came with the little rack. Yeah. That is a steal for 100 bucks. Yeah. Those are so cool. They're super cool. My dad's like, oh, I saw these. You want them? And I'm like, yes, yeah. please. Yeah. 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 Um, so he claims they're his. Excel they is here. the brand on these, and they're globe uh, globe dumbbells, obviously, and that, ju that look is just freaking sweet. Yeah. You thought maybe they were made in like the 70s? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Um, that's what Vintage Weights PGH yeah. told me. Big Rob. Uh, yeah, like the 70s probably. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Those are really cool. Okay, then uh, Drink Spotter XL. This is for your larger than average drinks too. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, this piece, is this currently on the market? It you is currently on the market. It's for sale, so this is also an advertisement. For sale. Yeah. 250 bucks or yeah. best offer. It's so heavy. Um, uh, yeah, it's got it's, a 265 pound weight stack on it. Right? You won't ever need that. And, yeah. and you can do leg extensions on it too. Um, I picked it up in a, 
when I got a pair of hundreds and that McDonald bar, I, yep. the guy was like, do you want this? And so like I made him an offer and got this out of the deal. You made him an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> yeah, you could say. Yeah, <laughs> one could say that. It's like a universal weight stack, and then he had somebody like weld up and make this, so it's like a Frankenstein of yep. stuff. Tupac shirt. Oh, yeah, Tupac shirt. He's still here. Yeah. Uh, WWE. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's the, tell me the, tell us the story here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Is the, this is the shirt from when I, I tried out to be a WWE wrestler. Uh, I didn't make it, but luckily now I can be a nurse because nursing is my passion. So <laughs> <laughs> who would want to be a stupid WWE wrestler anyway? Um, yeah, it's from that. It's 2019. They chose me to come try. Yeah. Uh, you've got your PR board, your, what I suppose, whatever whatever you're tracking at the time. Kind of just a catch-all, too, for uh, stuff. Comp records. Were any of these at uh, the Lift Hard Live Easy Classic? No. Okay. No. This goals yeah long term yep. just yep. wild 800 500 800 i'd say it's probably within your wheelhouse honestly like you could be there at some point in time so oh. don't show brian <laughs> no don't show brian the taylor swift calendar uh my <laughs> girlfriend's sister got me for christmas i've never said anything about taylor swift but i got a calendar out of the deal <laughs> uh thank you note that we wrote to your dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the hello fellow 100 pound York plate on it. <laughs> right after you got York. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good. This is an interesting window. Yeah, it is. It's kind <laughs> Have of... you ever seen something like that before? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's close. Oh, yeah. Um, it's hard to know what direction to go, but you got the lap pull down. Yeah, plate loaded lap pull down. Plate loaded lap pull How's it work? Down. Is it good? It's pretty good. I think it also like... has a low row on it. I think it's pretty close to like one to one. Yeah. Um, do you do low ro low, low rows with it ever too? Or? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I mostly do lap pull downs and like push downs with it. Okay. Okay. And then um, also I use the ab strap too. I'll uh, do like standing abs with yep, it. Yep. Yep. Um, and I assume the reason that's for sale is because you got what? Did you pick up this one recently or that I one? Or picked up one? both of them yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Two hundred bucks on marketplace. I got a standing leg leg curl. You might have to show us this it. in action just a yeah, little bit because exactly. that looks like a, I'm not even ex exactly sure when I look at that. <laughs> See. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, I think together it's going to be kind of a smaller footprint than that. Yep. Um, do you like the way that, like, have you used this some? Do you like the way that this feels? I do like the, yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. The single leg. Let me stand in there. Yeah. See if I can tear a hammy. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's cool. It feels, it feels it does. pretty sweet. Yeah. I can feel the burn already just with two. Yeah, and if I want to do two legs at once, I can always just do a band on the rack set up. Oh, you know, yeah. like, I wasn't even thinking, like it'd be, it would be tough to do double-legged at the same time. On <laughs> just that really like <laughs> squeeze on. <laughs> I wasn't even, because when I stepped in there, I was thinking, should I do the, try this single leg or double? And I'm like, wait, double. you can't do double. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you've got chains and bands and everything hanging from this. Chains uh, and bands. Well, this is the back of your belt squat here, actually, is what, mm -hmm. what we're looking at. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you use cha chains quite a bit? Oh, a decent amount. Yeah, I like them. Did um, you make those blue? Like, did you I get got, those blue ones, or did they somebody came have? blue? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, you've got a shitload more 45s over yeah, here, yeah. then, too. Yep, I think I got nine over here. The Eight. And the outside ones are these rep revolver ones. We've got some of those in the gym, and then I'm guessing these are standard. Stand, yeah, just standard. Yep. And then you have just dumbbell mound over here. What's with <laughs> dumbbell mound? Is that holding something down? Or? Um, No, just yeah. extra dumbbells. I <laughs> So I started off, I had like a couple pairs of dumbbells, probably mostly what's here. And then I, I saw like a deal on that so i still just have leftover dumbbells that i need to okay move <laughs> he also has an, an ingenious drink spotter uh beverage cooling device with the drink spotter right in the middle of the fan that's to always keep your beverages cool <laughs> yeah, no matter how hot it is yeah. your drink's always gonna be stickers. cool yeah yep. you do have a lot of stickers in your gym in general yep quite a few massonomics ones around when you look close <laughs> too uh so the belt squat this thing's a tank what uh is this Mutant metals or what is the MM? I think it's, I think or, it's, oh, it's Matt, Matt Winning. Yeah, it's, it's Matt Winning. Bills. I think it's before he started making himself as like from, as my guess. I, I don't know. What's it say back up here? Here, then? Bridge built oh, or okay. bridge so, or something? Yeah, so bridge built was building the Matt Winning 
belt spot then, I assume. At some point, Where did yeah. you get this from? I drove to Wisconsin to pick it up. Okay. Uh, like Huds, I don't know. It was an hour from the cities. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah, it was like 500 bucks. Um, that dumbbell back there is cool too. Yeah, it's, I, <laughs> my dad found that somewhere. He yeah. Gave it to me. I don't know, that might just be homemade, homemade that people made sure. from stock round uh, steel and welded it together. It's got a really long handle on it. Yeah. How much is, is it light or heavy? It's not that heavy. Okay. It, it's probably like 15, 20 pounds. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's not, not too crazy. This uh, this belt squat is a tank though. It definitely is. Um, I like it a lot though. I I feel like I like to warm up with the belt squat a lot. Like yep. just really get my hips warmed up. And um, I like to use it for like uh, rows, single arm stuff. Yep. All sorts of stuff like that. Is that the Titan deadlift jack? Uh, I think Rogue it is, or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have that same one. Another one of those things where it's like, it's, I, I don't know why I would ever go like super expensive on it. I'm just using it. I agree. It. Yeah, I I'm agree with deadlift jack. And that j deadlift jack is just is good. It's just fine. And then uh, sitting on it, you have the Texas deadlift bar. Texas deadlift uh, bar. Bare steel. Mm -hmm. We used this last year at Crew Falls, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Texas deadlift. Then I have the Texas squat and uh, SSB hanging up in the rafters. That's oh, where this yeah. one lives a lot of the times is in the rafters. Okay, yeah, Texas squat bar right here and Elite FTS. Uh, did you buy that new or used? I did buy that new. It was yeah. one of those times, like it's always going on sale or free yeah. shipping. or. And you bought these two bars new? Yeah, I too? bought those two bars new. Before the first lift hard live easy, I yeah. think, because that's what we were using, so... There's another bar up there. That's just is that that's is that also the bar that came with the gym with the easy curl bar? I think so. Yeah, yeah it just yeah, it doesn't get used very often. I'm just holding it for my friend. So this <laughs> this wooden platform. Do you deadlift here? Yeah, I deadlift here. My dad and I just built this. Um, okay, it's because the garage kind of slants for oh, the longest. Oh yeah. So it's so kinda, this is at an angle to make it level. Yeah, yeah, and um, for the longest time I was just deadlifting on horse stall mats. But we did. He did make a cool feature. Um. There's holes in it. Ba band peg attachments? Yeah, that you can yeah. screw in and out. Uh, and then you just take those off so you're not tripping on them, yeah, I suppose, when you're yeah. not using them. So they're just like eye, eye bolts or yeah. I don't know what you want to call them. But we're not just car carpenters or yeah. machinists. Yeah, we just screw them in. Yeah. And there you go. Sweet. That is cool. Yeah. I like that. Uh, you've got jerk blocks or... Uh, yeah. Deadlift blocks or what? I mean, I assume you use them to do elevated deadlifts. Pretty much. The primary thing. Did you build these? Yeah, my dad. They're my, nicely made too. My dad built them. He he saw like a picture of them and yeah, they're stackable. Decided to build them. Yeah, yeah. and then That's there's cool. a few more here too. Oh yeah, lower heights. Yeah. So you've got like four different heights of those. The ones I use the most probably. Uh, the John Paul, no reason to be alive if you can't do deadlift. Uh, Poster. Oh, here's you in action. Yeah, it's just me jogging. Picture. <laughs> just me jogging. <laughs> it was actually a still shot. They're like, just make it look like you're jogging. <laughs> WWE championship belt. Yeah, of course. Um, you've got clubs. I do. Yeah. Is this I, called a boomstick? Is that what that is? I too, think or so. Like yeah. That? And then like the mace style clubs. Do you ever use? Where'd those come from? Um, these came on marketplace. Uh, they were like a good deal in their local. And yeah. I just feel like. You don't see enough. I would like, buy those if they came up on marketplace. Yeah, a, a unique gym equipment close by. I'm gonna yeah. scoop it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I would. I would like if you were like, oh, I kind of want to get rid of those. I'd be like, Yeah, I'll buy those from you. Mm. And I don't even know. I Do might never to? use them. <laughs> yeah, I might never use them. Yeah. But it's just like I just want to have. I'm like you. I want to have stuff like that where it's like, yeah. what is that? You know? Right. And it's like maybe sometime I'll figure out something to do with them. I, I've used them a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we made the full 360. Honestly. I probably missed like 50 things in here because that's the kind of gym it is. There is just uh, stuff everywhere. Uh, drink spotter sign, sweetie street sign. Um, there's just cool stuff. You could just you could just look around in here for an hour at uh, all the decor, I think. Oh, for sure. Uh, any big future plans, like equipment-wise? Like, is there anything on your short list that you're like, oh, I would love to get this to add it, or I um, feel like I'm missing this, anything like that? Nothing I'd, like, buy new, I don't think, but I, I feel like if I found, like, a selectorized lap pull-down for the right yeah. price, I, I'd pull the trigger on it and yeah. upgrade it. Um, yep. I'm looking to get rid of this. That's the big thing. Yeah. Otherwise, and uh, you'll just, you don't have something that you're like, yeah, I want to put something else right here. You would just have this more open, right? Yeah. Now. More yeah. open in case something does come up. But yeah. I, I think, um, selectorized machines for the right price. Like I, I will pick them up. Yeah. That's my big future. Yeah. I could see that. 
Uh, yeah, you're kind of maximizing the space pretty good though now too. You got a lot of stuff crammed in here. So right. uh, unless you talk your girlfriend into no longer being able to park in here at all. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, or I mean, maybe some strongman equipment uh, there, would be, yeah, would yeah, be yeah. fun to have yeah. just for variety and like, like you could get a couple stones that you even roll in and out of here and stuff too. That'd be cool. Yeah. I could see some strongman stuff. Hey, so you've never really done strongman before. No, I haven't. are the size of a strongman. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so I could see you doing strong, but you are trying, you and uh, big Paul are doing like the strongest on the farm or <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Competition. You get so like we'll a bushel your, of apples yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it'll be your first one. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a good time. When is that? Uh, next, not this Saturday, but the Fong, 21st. Okay, and then when's the next powerlifting meet going to be? Um, Probably in the spring sometime, okay. I think. And then, of course, July 19th, 2025. Of course. Yeah. Oh, Western <laughs> Northeast. Officially. Up here. Yeah, it's official <laughs> as of last night we announced on the podcast. Oh, sweet. July 19th, 2025, Massonomics Lift Hard Live Easy Classic 3, whatever, part 3, whatever it's called. Um, this is a sweet tour. This is a sweet gym. Are you training today or is it um, off day? I'm probably going to be off today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tommy, anything else we need to cover in the gym before we shut this one down? No. It's a thing of beauty. It is a thing of beauty. <laughs> Everyone, uh, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, what your favorite piece in Bryce's gym was in Perfect Little Sweetie's gym. Let us know what you saw us walk by and not cover that you wish we would have talked about. Uh, some nuggets that we missed. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. We've got other... Uh, we're shooting more videos today, actually more gym tours even when we're down here in Crew Falls. So there'll be more gym tours to come. So make sure you like and subscribe. We've got affiliate links in the, down in the description. So if you're buying any new equipment, I mean, maybe you're a Facebook marketplace fiend like Big Bryce and you get everything <laughs> oh, yeah. for sweet deals used. But if you are <laughs> buying new stuff, we've got uh, affiliate links with the Strength Co, Bells of Steel, Rep. We talked about some of those companies as we walked through. Check out any of that stuff. Uh, make sure to check out our podcast. New episode every single Monday. That's it from Perfect Little Sweeties.